You love it, really. You are just being modest. Listen, I didn't want to do this. You did. You ignored me. I have been browbeaten. Browbeaten until I have no brow left to beat. If I listened to you every time you said no, we wouldn't be getting married. Never mind treating our guests to a dirty dancing extravaganza. And what are they doing here? Are they doing the dance as well? Well, no, I just thought you should get used to having an audience, you know, so you don't freeze up on the big day. Besides, even if I wasn't made in honour, I'd pay good money to see this. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> uh, nice leggings, by the way. Sportswear. Oh. Right, well, anyway, let's start off with that classic. The uh, armpit stroke, or the tickle, as some like to call it. Right, well, come on, let's get it over with. Oh, no, actually, Steve, I'm not going to be your partner today. I'm going to be your teacher. Well, who's my partner, then? I've had the time of my life and I owe it all to you. I'm amazed you didn't just walk straight past. Yes, I swear. It's the truth. And I owe it all to you. Oh, Steve, you're doing really well. Right, now, Mary, stand with your back to Steve. Put your hand up behind his head. Now, Steve, what you need to do is run your hand really slowly down Mary's arm. Steve, it's meant to be a tender moment. Let me show you. No! What? Listen, you can have what you want for your wedding. You can have an E-type jack, you can have a hot air balloon, you can have a hog roast, anything that don't make me look like a flipping plonker! I can't do this anymore! It's <laughs> <laughs> 